hello there guys james here today let's try to fix miui on poco now here i am running miui 12.0.3 stable if you've noticed recently poco has not been delivering any quality updates for this phone every update seems to be um, buggy and uh, even basic things such as system animations are not working so today let's fix that today let's make miui 12.0.3 stable actually stable so first thing is to fix the launcher animations and for that i link you to manchi's video um he he has a great tutorial on how to install miui launcher and replace poco launcher with that so i link you to that video please watch that video show him some love um install the launcher um you will get the download links there to download it and you can install that and please come back to this video now after you install the launcher just like in the video said uh, you, uh, you have to restart to once for it to work after you restart we have a launcher fix right here so from now the animations will start to work every every app opening will have the animations even recent screen has animations so yeah the animations are fixed now the first time you install this launcher uh, your uh, applications will also be on the home screen so you have to manually change that by going into settings more and home screen you can have it with or without the app drawer you also have the option to get uh, horizontal app app uh, switcher you will see this but i prefer the vertical one because it shows more apps and if you install miui launcher you also get the benefit of proper uh, gestures if you see i swipe if i swipe from the left i get the notification panel swipe from the right i'll get the control center the second thing to fix is the general speed and performance of this rom and also the gaming performance and for that i suggest installing genos kernel to install genos kernel please download the kernel from the link i have given below download the non oxygen os version switch off the phone and boot into the recovery by pressing volume up and power now go to install browse wherever you downloaded the genos version tap on it and swipe to confirm flash now after doing that reboot the system now go to settings and check if you have genos kernel installed you will see the kernel version as genos kernel now install the genos profile application as well so uh, if you don't like fiddling with the profiles and stuff you can just open the application leave it in uh, balanced profile and use the phone as such now i will prefer uh, i'll post my screen on time with genos kernel in this rom, uh, ROM. Uh, consistently i've been getting over 7 hours of screen on time with some uh, pubg time as well so this is an excellent battery life uh, if you want battery life this combo is definitely good the ui also feels more refined with the when animations are present so with advantages there also comes disadvantages the first thing when you update the launcher is i can't seem to figure out the double tap to sleep i can't seem to find the option here and the next one is for the extra performance you get with genos kernel the app launch speeds and uh, the gaming performance will obviously be good with genos kernel it will be better i've tested it and uh, the gaming performance is actually better for me uh, with the stock kernel after 10 to 15 minutes of gaming it used to lag but there's also a con to this thing that the heating is significantly more noticeable miui is programmed in a way that no matter what happens it doesn't allow the phone to heat if you are playing a game it will throttle the game uh, the gaming smoothness if you are uh, using some apps it will throttle the cpu performance and so on it just doesn't allow uh, the phone to heat up if you are charging it will reduce the charging speed and so on but with genos kernel you get the additional performance but with that you also increase the level of heating with this rom but it's not i can't say that it's overheating but it's noticeable from stock miui that's a trade off you have to live with and another con is that it's not an ultimate gaming rom now i can say that i can get almost constant 60 fps but in some situations it drops slightly below it doesn't lag or stutter but it falls slightly below 60 fps it's not that extra consistent 60 fps so now that we have gotten the pros and cons out of the way 
I can we can finally enjoy MIUI like it's supposed to be in the first place with animations as well as good performance and battery life as well. For testing battery life, I left it at Baron's profile all the time and I did not fiddle around with the profiles. Coming to MIUI 12.0.3, I noticed a change where if you pull the notification panel in landscape mode, you will see the extra buttons on the side. Usually it used to be one vertical row, uh, it used to be very inconvenient. Now it's much better here. So that has been it guys. I wanted to make this video as short as possible. There are a lot of MIUI 12.0.3 reviews out there. So I just wanted to make this a different video from all of that. See you in the next video guys. I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to ask me something or if you have any queries, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Enjoy the gaming.